you may have circumstances that arise that you need to create a new blend. Um, you may recall that we use the set mesh material to set our theme, which then sets the defaults that get assigned to our meshes and our blends and what materials those blends blend from and blend to. And that's going to be applied to all of our meshes. However, there are circumstances where those blends aren't going to be what you want. So let me explain. So I'm going to open up Unity. And maybe you recall, maybe you don't, but we put this bunker right in the middle of this fairway. And um, our default theme, which I have sitting right here, which was our Hershey Country Club V4 Lush, if we go down here and we look at our bunker blend, and our bunker blend is using our default bunker material, okay, which is uh, a combination of the sand and then around the rim here, we've got this dirt piece of this. Um, it's blending to rough, as you can see here. Well, that's exactly what this blend is doing, okay? It's blending from our sandy dirt material, which is the alpha channel of our sand material, to the black material, and the black material is the alpha of the rough, okay? Maybe this will make more sense if I, first of all, show the vertex painting. So show vertex painting. Red is the alpha of sand, which is dirt. Black is the alpha of rough, which is our rough alpha material, which is not what we're seeing here, right? This is fairway. This is rough material. It's not what we want. Well, let's look at a place where it is operating correctly. And maybe this will help you understand blends a little bit more if they're still confusing for you. So let's look at this blend. So this blend is going from, let's do a show vertex painting. The red here is the alpha of our sand, which is that dirt-like material. The black is the alpha, okay, it's assigned to the alpha of our rough material, which is this. So this looks pretty good, right? Nice even blend right there from sand to rough. Looks perfect. Well, that's what's getting applied right over here, but that's not what we want. We want this to blend to our fairway material. So how do we do that? How do we fix this? Well, we need to create a new blend. So let's highlight this blend. And you can see we've got this create new blend button here. Now, right now, if we look at this, this our source material, our source red material is the red from our, our sand material, which is that brown stuff here. And at the destination is our rough. So this is what we need to change right here. So what do we change it to? We need to change it to our fairway material, which is this. So if I clicked on fairway, I've got my fairway material, which is our OPCD Moss fairway default. When I click on that, it shows up in my project right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this blend. I'm going to go to my fairway default material, and I'm going to drag it into this destination. Well, nothing happened, right? Well, that's because we're still, you can see on this old blend material, we need to create a new blend material. And we do that by, now that we have our our blend to material assigned here, we're gonna hit create new blend. It does a few things in the background. It creates a new scripted object, okay? And it creates our new blend, you can see right here. And now this looks really good, okay? We've got our sand dirt material blending to fairway. And if we zoom out, that looks really good. Now, something to be aware of now. Well, first of all, let's look and see what was created before I go any further. Now I click on this and you can see here is the new fair or the new blend that was created. Okay, so we could use this someplace else. So if you have another bunker like this, you could assign this new material to that bunker and you're going to be all set. Just don't forget. Remember, when you do this stuff, whenever you sign a new material, you have to do an update material doesn't hurt to do that right now. Now I do know that that's done as far as the create blend click box here. Another thing that is created is this new scripted object. Okay, so this scripted object was also created which stores, okay, our red material, which is our sand, our black material, which is our fairway. Okay, so that is also created. One thing guys, do never want to create a blend, okay, by going over here and saying, oh, I'm just going to duplicate this. If you duplicate that, you don't get this scripted object created, and you're going to run into problems. So do not duplicate blends like you do other materials, okay? Always create a new blend by using the Create New Blend button. 
So are there other implications of this? You betcha, okay? So what are the implications? Well, if you go back, okay, and you run, <laughs> remember this is our defaults. And if we run this, this is a blanket replace. So if I hit replace material, what's gonna happen? Well, it's gonna warn you, it's gonna overwrite everything. So what's gonna get overwritten? Well, if I run this, it's gonna overwrite this blend with whatever we have identified here. So this is gonna go back to a bunker blend that's gonna to go to rough. And it's working here in the background. If you did any blends and you change those blends, if you run this set mesh editor again, they are going to get overwritten. All right, so you gotta be aware of that. So things like this, I tend to wait to closer to the end of the process when I know I don't have to create any more shapes and inkscape you know I, i'm not i'm pretty much done customizing so i typically wait till i've planted my trees and stuff because you might spot some of this stuff while you're doing that so you can see that this has gone back and created a rough blend however we did not lose the one we created so if i highlight this guy okay and i go to my bunker blend default i can come up here to my materials and this in the root of this materials folder is where these blends are stored I could take this, this is the one that we created just a few minutes ago by using the create blend button. I can drag it in here. And remember when I do that, what I wanna do, I'm gonna do update material and now it's back, okay? Now what would happen, the other circumstance here is if I did this, if I right clicked here and set default material, what's gonna happen? It's gonna go back to whatever we have in that set mesh theme, okay? So hopefully you guys are starting to understand how defaults work a little bit better. But I could always go back here Oh, and remember when we do that set mesh default theme, what do you want to do? I always want to do update material, which fixes this. So it's back to our bunk blend bunker default scripted object. I'm going to put this guy back in to where we wanted it before. Update material, that's updated. Our scripted object is updated and we're good to go again. All right. So that's how you create new blends. And those are some of the implications of creating a new blend.